What's up everybody, this is Ken. I am back with another accessory video from Vion. Vion sent me this. This is a very new product that is available right now for purchase on their website. And it is the Model 3 and Model Y Center Console Hub. This accessory will give you real-time charging data for any device that you are really charging. I've done many of these on my channel, but I think I'm really gonna like this one because it has a nice little LED screen on the display. It does not affect your battery or anything like that because it will shut off without being used, which is a really good addition to this. I did a previous video on Vion with their Tesla connector style chargers, and I'll plug them into the USB-C slots here to maybe charge the iPhone just to see maybe what wattage. I'm thinking maybe five to eight watts for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I don't know for sure, but there's only one thing in this box and all it is the hub. So let me grab that. And this is the nice little hub right here. As you can see, it's plastic, but it pretty much matches the Model 3 and Model Y center console. It may look a little off because I do have a clear PPF on my center console to protect it, but it matches it perfectly. I can really tell the spots where it's not covered and I knew that it matched really well. And these two right here are the USB-Cs right there where you can see them. And they just go right here in this spot down here and let's go ahead and just get this installed you kind of put it like this then you bring one side down then pull it back it's not moving at all previous ones that I had before it still moved this is there and it won't move even if I have the center console open and you see it looks like that looks really nice so I'll go ahead and plug these in really quick. And I haven't even plugged in the second one and it's already showing zero watts on the LED display. Done. That's the installation. So they do have a nice little protector where you can, I think, peel it off is what I'm thinking, but I'll just leave it on there so it's not as glossy because I'm pretty sure that screen is glossy. I might just like cut that tab there and just keep it on just to protect it so it will not get scratched up. It's showing that it is a 27 watt capable USB-C slot right here and then this is another USB-C slot as well and then there are two USB-A slots. So it's like your normal one you do buy but I'm telling you this one feels really good and I'm not just saying that because it was sent to me. And if I probably don't use it for a while it might just turn off do have both the Tesla wall connector style Vion chargers for USB-C and for lightning for iPhones that I did in a previous video very recently and I will definitely leave that in the cards and let's just plug them in so the light does come on which is good and then this one is for USB-C to USB-C and one thing I noticed right off the jump is the USB-C to USB-C in my previous video when I did review it, it did not light up when you plugged it into a USB-C slot. It only lit up whenever I plugged it into a phone. So that's kind of cool that this now on this hub, it lights up regardless with when nothing is plugged up. And you see that's the USB-C right here. So it's not plugged up to anything. Okay, so I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max here. And let's go ahead and plug it in and see what wattage I will get. And it's pretty much real time. You see it went from eight to three. Should climb back up there. Now it's at eight watts, as you can see right here on the LED display. So it is real time charging data, whatever device that you are putting in. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and unplug that. It goes to zero. Now I have my MacBook Air right here. I'm gonna use the MagSafe charger that comes with it, okay? Let's go ahead and plug that in and I'm gonna do it on the 27 watt because this is a bigger device. On the USB-C slot there, you should hear it click. Beep. 27 watts. On this little hub, 27 watts 
and I'll just leave it there for just a little bit, just see if it will go up, but I don't think it'll go more than that. So let me go over, oh, it went to 35. Hold on, I'm gonna plug it back in. I mean, honestly, 27 watts is pretty dang good for a big device like this. And you know it is charging, because you see right here, that is an orange. If it wasn't charging, it'll go green. See, so time I take it out, that max save, I put it back in, real time 15, and it should jump up. Now it's 20. This battery is not depleted whatsoever, and it bumped up to 35 again. Not bad at all. I wonder if it'll change on this one that does not say 27 watts. See, time I unplugged it, it goes to zero. It's real time. So if I click here, Let's see what we get on that second USB-C slot that has it. You just heard it start charging. I think this one is only eight watts on that right here, so. Okay, I'm very curious. Curious if I can get a little bit more out of charging this iPhone, okay? I saw 20 there for a second. I'll see if I can get it. Wow. Okay. So even for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so this slot that, that says 27 watt, that is the slot that you're going to get the fastest charging. So I'm getting 27 out of this Anchor USB-C to USB-C charging this iPhone, which should charge it really fast. That is awesome. That's pretty much it. You see, this works. It charges really fast. If you're one of those type of geeks that likes to know what a, the exact wattage of the charge output of a cable or whatever, this will help you. It's classy. It matches the Model 3 and Y center console as well. That's a win for me. And if you want to pick up Vion's Tesla wall connector style charger in USB-C or in Lightning, I'll leave that in a link for you as well. And you will get 10% off on any items that you purchase on their website using my discount code. So if you have any questions, please let me know. This YouTube can. See you in the next video.